Let's find out uh, more about the impact of rising inflation and the increasing cost of living. Inzi standing by for us in Manchester this morning. Uh, hi, Inzi. Uh, inflation even higher than expected. Yeah, a 30-year high, K, and a lot of people will be looking at that and thinking... <laughs> How on earth are we expected to afford very basic things? We know the cost of living crisis uh, has been worsening and today it takes yet another hit. This uh, new announcement today uh, takes into account the month of uh, a war in Ukraine. It takes into account fuel prices, food prices going up as well and really paints a bleak picture of the future in terms of finances for everyday people. Um, we're in uh, Manchester's uh, Smithfield Market and we've got uh, Mariella with us uh, here who owns this uh, very, uh, it's not too fishy actually, yeah, a fish stall here. Fresh fish doesn't smell. Well there we go. Um, Mariella just give us your reaction to hearing the news this morning that inflation has hit a 30 year high. Well I'm not surprised at all. It's been increasing since the beginning of Brexit and we've been, we've had whammy with Brexit, we've had Covid and now we are suffering this terrible um, injustice of the Russian war. Um, all our costs since just pre-Brexit have been steadily rising and I would say that the import costs on the fish from abroad at least 25 to 30%. We sell a lot of poultry which is based in this country in Penrith, our main poultry supplier and his costs have gone up because of course they've stopped the farmers using the red diesel. There's been bird flu. Uh, the cost of delivering from Penrith to here every day it's costing him another 250 to £350 pound just for the increase in diesel. And so when we talk about the cost of living crisis, people coming here, you know, want to buy fish for their business, for personal use and things like that. What are people telling you when you're having to put your prices up as well as a result? We've tried as much as we possibly can to swallow as much uh, of that, but we just can't. It's an impossibility. Um, when you're, every delivery is costing you an extra 20%. We don't make that. We're, we're wholesalers. And the, when we retail out, we don't put a massive profit on. You know, it's 10%, it's 15%. And these are people that are struggling. These people that can... The reason they're here is because for between 15 and £20, pounds, they can fill their freezer of good quality item. And every time we import this stuff, because it comes across the sea, well, the container prices have gone up by five times. So they've gone from 3,500 to 14,000. This is a knock-on situation. So they've got yeah. to contend with the, the gas and the electricity, the food prices going up, travel going up. What are they supposed to choose? Do we eat or do we heat? Yeah. Yeah. And it's disgraceful. Yeah, it's a, it's a very tough question for, for a lot of people across the country now. Marielle, thank you so much. Just painting a, a picture there of what it's like for her as a business, but also for the customers that come and shop here. Now, the Bank of England have also said that the inflation could increase later this year to uh, a 40-year high later on this year to 10%. Now, that really would be an even bleaker picture for many across the country. But today's news already, uh, many will be looking and thinking, uh, whether they do eat or, or heat, and that is a big question for many across the country. Okay, um, Inzi, thanks very much. Thank you.